April 13th will go down as one of the biggest sneaker release dates of the year. Because not only one, not only two, but three big time sneakers are going to be dropping. And that is the Kobe Pro Tro. What's going on everybody in the building, man? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. As you guys can see, there's a little bit difference going on. Some big changes, room tour, room studio, video coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to break down for you guys and girls the upcoming three Kobe releases all releasing on April 13th this upcoming month. And from what I was told by some of you guys in the chat because, or in the comment section, because I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think about it till after I asked is why April 13th and why so many on that day? Well, April 13th was the last date, the last game of Kobe Bryant in his career. So I guess that is the reasoning behind the release date of these three shoes. On top of that, we're having three sneakers that are releasing that all pay kind of a tribute to geographic areas, um, areas that meant a lot for Kobe. That's something I also notice with the three releases that we have coming out. So we're going to break each one of them down. We will be dropping reviews on these back to back next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's dive straight into it. The first one we have here is, of course, the Kobe 8 Venice Beach. The Kobe 8 Venice Beach originally released back in 2013 and of course the name Venice Beach if you're from I mean if you're if you live in the United States you're, you probably heard of Venice Beach okay Venice Beach is a very popular beach in LA and that is what this shoe wanted to encapsulate at the end of the day in particular the colors on this shoe are inspired by the graffiti art that is all throughout Venice Beach Kobe has been known to play at Venice Beach and as stated before he even played pickup games there one in particular where he broke his wrist and if you've probably seen photos where Kobe is taking like photos I believe his rookie year or I want to say, I want to say it was his rookie year or his sophomore year I want to say that he uh, broke his wrist and had a cast and was doing a photo shoot with the cast which was caused from a pickup game going down at Venice Beach and these are of course the Kobe 8 Pro Tro Pro Tro not retro and what Nike is doing with this Pro Tro model as you may or may not know but they're trying to basically not bring back the same thing that came out but bring back those old models and colorways but add to it so that it is current and up to date with the technology of its current time hence why there's been some changes with the Kobe 8 one though on this particular shoe that is not changed recent Kobe 8s have all seen a more puff tongue a fatter tongue where on this one in particular on this Venice Beach they went with the OG tongue which was a very flat and thin tongue and we see here on the back part of course the 3M and then the colorful graffiti inspired by Venice Beach and what we see on the box here is stadium gray metallic silver gris state and argent it's a whole bunch of weird words okay it gets you know it always gets weird then eight and a half and this is a size 10. Now, we will do a full on in-depth review where we tell you guys how the sizing is. I mean, I could just literally slide these in and tell you if you want me to tell you now, but I feel like when I do my reviews, I actually like try them on. But I guess for the sake of knowing, because I know some people are already asking about sizing, we'll do it straight for the camera so you guys and girls can see it. But um, sixes, eights, they all, they all kind of are the same, which is more so on the snug side than you know i guess true or big but i still go with my true size yeah these are pretty snug i ain't gonna cap like i'm about to have to open them up man they, they fit true to size of me i'm gonna be 100 percent honest um i don't feel like it's gonna be an issue with these i will say the sixes fit tighter than the eights in particular this pair right here but even when it comes to the Kobe 6s, I go true to size. I like my shoes snug. So it's not an unbearable where I have to go with the 9. So if you want to know what I at least recommend, I'm going to recommend you go with your true size, but be expecting it to be a little snug. So if you don't want your shoes snug, if you like room, if you got them corns on your feet, then go up half a size, okay? You'll be good there. But me personally, like, I'm going true. Next up, 
uh, we have another shoe inspired by, uh, and hopefully I'm saying, uh, did I say geological? Is it geographic? I think I was saying geological earlier. If I did, man, forgive me, okay? It's kind of late tonight, I ain't gonna lie. But another shoe inspired by a place in the world, okay? The Kobe 6 Italian Camo. So we have the Italian camo in the building and I said on the last video, maybe I know what I was trying to say. Maybe I said it wrong, but Kobe's father played in Italy. Uh, maybe I said he played for Italy, but he played in Italy, he played in Italy. Kobe was somewhat raised, like he was also raised in another area, but we'll get to in a little bit, but he was also, grow he grew up a lot in Italy. And that's why he has a lot of love for soccer. He's even had, you know, the Mama Curios, which was a soccer inspired colorway and shoe. So he has a lot of love for Italy. And I think that Kobe is actually fluent in Italian as well. And these actually originally released back in 2011. So it's been a very, very long time. We have 2013 for the eights, 2011 for the Italian camos. Um, yeah. So this one is gonna be a big one. I feel like at the end of the day, when it comes to the Kobe line, the sixes always are a lot of people's favorites. So I think that this one is going to be the biggest one out of the three. I think they're all gonna do phenomenal. I think they're all gonna get bodied, unfortunately, from some sites out there. Um, it's gonna be an issue. It's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a fight. And uh, just keep that in mind because these are all shoes that the first time they're retroing and Kobe's are, of course, on fire right now unfortunately for you know we know the reason why r.i.p to kobe but this will be my uh third kobe six i got the grinches i got the reverse grinches and now i'll be adding these italian camos to the mix because in my opinion like these are fire they look good really really nice so look on that the box is black slash crimson rog uh, bog green khaki size eight and a ten for the ladies now sixes as i said i know how sixes fit because i've bought in two so far they run a little snug so keep that in mind they run a little snug so if you're okay with that go true to size you see me eight and a half eight and a half i'm staying true to size i'm good to go last but not least though we have the one i have not shown you guys and girls yet and this is another big time hitter the kobe four fill it So this is a, uh, the eight released back in 2013, the six released back in 2011, and the Philly released back in 2009. Now, once again, pays tribute to another area, another, another location. Uh, bam, the Kobe four Philly in the building, man. So if you guys don't know, Kobe was born, raised in Philly, went to lower Marion high school. Um, yeah. You know, there was uh, thoughts at one point when Kobe uh, was wanting to be traded from the Lakers, that he was going to be going to the 76ers. Like it was thought at one point that he was ready to go there. Um, I think he might even have said it at the time. I'm not 100 on that, but I remember that Philly being one of those places that Kobe was willing to go to, go back home and play there. Um, born and raised. These, along with all the other ones, are all coming in at that retail price point of $190. So the model doesn't matter, 190, 190, 190. Uh, I believe that's a little bit of an uptick. I think last time I had checked on those Kobe sixes, they had came in, I believe, at the 180 the previous year and the year before. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, I was not a very big fan of the Kobe four, but with how, shoes are and like we'll have to just wait and see i want to grab as many kobe's as i can and if i see that they start to just drop more and more and more and more 
then I'll, you know, I'll kind of, you know, pick and choose my battles. But right now, we just don't know how they're going to be coming out with the Kobe. We do know that Vanessa pushed for more and more, and we're seeing it. Three pairs. Actually, I forgot I did have the Black Mamba pair, the Gift of Mamba, all black. I have of uh, these uh, in particular. But, um, yeah, so that's just something that is why I'm jumping on as many Kobe's as I possibly can because I just need to see it happen before uh, anything. On that insole, it has that 082378, which is, of course, Kobe Bryant's birthday. So this is kind of like, you know, his hometown shoe. Um, and you see the puff, see the puff on there. This is kind of like the puff that they are utilizing on those eights, the Pro Tro eights right now. But this is another one. In my opinion, the order of how these will do, I feel like they're all going to just go. But this is how I see it. Top, medium, bottom. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on all these releases and how you're feeling about them. If these are uh, cops or not, or if you're going to be trying to get your hands on them. But me personally, like, April 13th is going to be a crazy, crazy day. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I love y'all as always. I appreciate y'all as always. And uh, stay tuned, man. Next week, we'll get back into rotation. We should have a lot of videos dropping. It's been a lot, bro. So I've been, like, since Monday. Today's Thursday. Um, I've been um, just jam-packed, basically. So, yeah. You'll see it. You'll love it. And we'll keep things pushing, get things moving back on Monday. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.